Time for the Wednesday tradition. It's the Wednesday drive through and it's brought to you, as always, by our friends at Kuna Foods. I'll have a double smiley sandwich, curly fries, and a vanilla shake. Make that, too. That'll be seven ninety eight. Please drive up to the window. Thank you. It's time to sample some local fare. Smile, you're at Mr. Smiley. What's hot? What's cool? Food for the soul. Can I give you guys a friendly piece of advice, okay? Don't ever go up to the drive-thru, okay? Always walk up to the counter. Have a banana, have a whole bunch. It doesn't matter what you had for lunch. Just eat it, eat it. It's the Wednesday drive through with Martin Kilcoin on the Big 550. Would you like Smiley sauce with that? KTRS. And today we welcome in a St. Louis tradition, Cybergs, an eating and drinking company. Cybergs soon to have six locations throughout the listening area. And joining us in studio, Megan and Teresa. Ladies, thanks for being here. Let's start, Megan, with the six location. This is new on yep. the scene, and where's the new location? It is going to be in O'Fallon, Illinois, and we're hoping to open at the end of July. How many are right, so the other current, let's run through the current locations. We have the original Cybergs on Gravway, which has been there for almost 34 years. Cybergs on Market, which is downtown. Cybergs on Dorset, which is where we're from, 270 and Old Dorset Road. Chesterfield location, and then we also own Helen Fitzgerald's on South Lumberg. And so how did it all start? I know that the the Cybergs obviously started it. (laughs) Yes, they started it. It started with their parents. They actually were a catering company. And then the brothers kind of decided it would be a good idea to open up a little bar and grill, and they opened it on Gravway. It's been there for almost 34 years now. We opened on St. Patrick's Day. And Teresa, do you know the story of the shark bites? There's very few places you can go to get a shark. How popular are they? The at shark Cyber. are very and, popular. And be honest, the first time you had one, you thought, oh, this is going to be gross. This sounds terrible. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. These are actually really good. Yes, yeah, sir. They really don't taste like fish. They, they're very... Do you, do you find people, for? though, are tentative and you say, no, 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 it's fine. It's yeah. Gross. It takes a while. They, you know, they are a little standoffish, and then once they get it, they love it. Love it. It is Mako Shark. That's the only shark we use. Whose idea was it? How did it come about on the menu? Was it somebody's uh, favorite food? or No, actually, it started off at the Gravoy location. If you've ever been there, there's a big shark outside the building. Their parents, Rich and Sally, their neighbor was an artist. He had, the, he had a shark. He painted a mural. It's kind of how it started. Then, then we got our logo from that. And they were like, well, let's put shark on the menu. And the shark bites, a unique menu item, but the wings people talk about all the time. How proud of your wings are you at Cyber? Very proud. We are famous for our wings and our wing sauce. We actually went to a national wing fest in Buffalo. Buffalo. And the sauce mm-hmm. is the difference. Well, yeah, People's Choice Award. Didn't we? Oh, yeah. So we got the People's Choice Award for that. What, what's the secret here behind the sauce? You guys bottle it up and sell your own sauce? We sell our own sauce. We make all of our sauce in the restaurants. We can't tell you the recipe. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. But the key to your wings is the the sauce. sauce. Is that right? Yes, Yes. it is. Megan and Teresa are with us here from Cybergs. They have six locations coming soon with the O'Fallon, Illinois opening. All right, other than wings and shark bites, Teresa, if you walked in there today, what are you going to eat for lunch? I would probably get the Fitzgerald's burger. It's my favorite burger. Is it a ginormous burger? No, it's just a burger on sourdough, and it has um, Swiss cheese and... Thousand Island and onions, grilled onions on it, and it's my favorite burger. I like sourdough. So. A lot on the menu. What about the pizza? The pizza is very good. Actually, one was named after my dad. It's called the Joe Mamas. He worked there when they first opened at the Gravoy location. He was a bartender. He put all these toppings on a pizza. It is called the Joe Mamas. It's ham, bacon, sausage, pepperoni, cheese. and cheese. <laughs> and he used to make it for all the employees. They loved it so much they put it on the menu. Do you see more people coming in just walking in, or is it catering, or a little bit of both? It is everything. Honestly, we have very good locations where we're at, so we get great lunch crowds from all the businesses around all the locations, and people like to bring their families in for dinner. And then also there's TVs everywhere in all the locations, so it's a great spot to watch any sporting event you like. I've been to Cyborgs. I've never had the pizza. Describe it to folks. Is it thin crust, thick crust, it medium? It is thin crust. Yeah. St. Louis style. St. Louis yeah. style thin crust with Prevel cheese, a Prevel mix on top of it. It's delicious. What do you sell the most of? What is si- across the board, Cybergs? Other than wings, menu items are entree items. Pizzas. You know? Pizzas? Pizzas, yeah. yeah. And you you mentioned you have the catering option. Yes, we do. Does it depend on each location, have a little more space for events? 
Well, the Dorset location has a bar and it holds 200 guests. We also do off-premise catering. We do barbecues up to 4,000. We'll do, you know, just small parties of 50. We do everything. All right, and Teresa, what do we have here today? What's inside this today we ginormous brought, box over here? Today we brought you the famous Joe Mama's Pizza, which is all like a meat lover's pizza. It has bacon, pepperonis, ham, sausage. Does Megan's dad get that for free when he walks? Listen, this is named <laughs> well, after me. Well, you think we get some pay. royalties off that, and, but we don't. And we brought some toasted raviolis, saigoons. What's a saigoon? Yeah. Josh just melted over that. I don't know what <laughs> Sai- 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 are really good. He they're, literally just fell to the like, ground. If you can think of a crab ragoon or a wong tong, kind of, it's, it's got cream cheese, chicken, wing sauce, and onion chives, Ooh. and it's rolled up and it's deep fried, and you dip it into a Thai sauce, which gives it a little kick, a little spice. It's Whoa. actually really, really, really good. Is this good. a Cyborg's original? The Cy- yes, Goon? it is. It's Cy- mm-hmm. Cyborg's original. Wow. Josh is really, he's weeping over there. <laughs> yeah. They, they're really good. Uh, how about a website? People listening, if they have an event, they want to cater or hold can, it on site, where do they go? You can always go to www.cyborgs.com, and it has all our locations, all the menus. And still family-owned and operated by yes. the Cyborgs? Yes, still family-owned and operated. Soon to have a sixth location in O'Fallon, Illinois, Cyborgs here in the house, an eating and drinking company. I never realized the subheading. That's the official title. Yes. Everyone simply knows it as Cyborgs. Uh, ladies, thanks for being here. We look forward to these Cygoons. Josh, I'm, unfortunately, if he we, we don't have any for Josh, unfortunately. They're just for the rest of us. <laughs> Megan, Teresa, thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Cybergs featured today on the Wednesday Drive-Thru, brought to you as always by Kuna Food.